You may have seen it on the governor's Instagram. A critically endangered Serianthes nelsoni or Trunkun guafi, the last adult fire tree on Guam. In the Magahaga's IG post, the governor thanks the military for its efforts to, quote, preserve and propagate the tree, and that rubbed some in Environmental Direct Action Group Pertei Letegzen the wrong way. Comments calling the post fake news. Another comment, thank them? They're the ones endangering it. Even Navy PIO Lieutenant Ian McConaughey did it for the gram, commenting that the military is the one protecting the tree, not endangering it. Joint Region Marianas tells KUAM News McConaughey's comments, quote, do not reflect the position, views, or endorsement of Joint Region Marianas or the Department of Defense. Legislative Environment Chair Senator Sabina Perez and Land Committee Chair Senator Therese Terlahi were on the June 3rd trip along with the governor. Before being elected to the 35th Guam Legislature, Perez was a member of Vertei Latexen, and during the field trip, she wore a black shirt displaying her roots, and she's not in a hurry to thank the military for taking care of the last mature Serianthes tree. Their environmental protection is actually stemming from a destruction of an area that's really sacred to us. The last fire tree lives in the Tailalu area. What will be the largest firing range in the impending buildup sits in a diverse and unique ecosystem that is literally under the gun as the construction of the range is now in full swing. To protect a, a, a tree or endangered species, you have to protect the habitat. And that largest of the ranges is its habitat. Ecologist Elsa de Milineri, the associate director of the Center for Island Sustainability, is part of an effort to study and save the fire tree and other critical plant and animal species in the area. There are a few saplings fenced in with the fire tree, but De Milineri says the more space the tree has, the more seeds and saplings will be protected. She says the military's plan to create a 100-foot buffer around the tree isn't good enough to ensure its survival. De Milineri says historical documents show the cultural significance of the Truncun Guafi, which was used as lumber by ancient Chamorros. And like our ancestors, the tree and the limestone forest it lives in will soon become a memory. The forest where it grows now is really high quality forest. It's, it's um, a type of forest you don't find much in Guam anymore. Paris says the recent discovery of more sites with artifacts, the high probability that more ancient sites will be unearthed, and the endangered and critical species in the area are all reasons the military should go back to the drawing boards with plans for the biggest firing range. The largest of the ranges needs to be relocated. It's that big one that compromises some of the very high quality forests. Joint Region in a written statement tells KUAM News the tree was damaged in a typhoon and is now heavily infected with a fungus that leaves it, in the military's words, structurally compromised and likely it will not survive extreme weather. And De Milineri says since the area around the fire tree has been cleared, the Truncun Guafi has little protection from damaging winds. This is the last tree from Guam and every seed you can still get in our plants. That's like a win. In the meantime, efforts to plant fire tree saplings in what the military calls forest enhancement areas and around the island, including the Tarzan Falls area, continue as part of an agreement between the Department of Defense and UOG's Plant Extinction Prevention Program. Joint Region says it collected 205 seeds and 41 saplings that will become part of a long-term goal to plant 160 fire tree saplings in the next two years. De Milineri is currently doing a study on the Truncun Guafi's genetic makeup, and the results of that study could mean the military may have to restart the biological profile of the area, which could lead to more stringent protections for the last fire tree. If that tree is, is distinct, then um, the risk of extinction is even greater. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.